Okay, recording February 17th, 2021, Wednesday around 9 a.m. ish. And we have the Putt Putt Golf Course being painted with a serpentine coral snake pattern here. With the three colors of a particular coral snake. There are different colored snakes and native to southern Arizona and other parts of the southern U.S., but mostly southern Arizona. We have the artist here. Uh, three colors of that particular snake, the dark burgundy rust and the black and the yellow. So meticulously using that snake. Painstaking. Painstakingly. Painstaking. Yeah. Because it never ends. Yeah, it's going to be a long serpentine pattern. I'm going to end it right there. Oh. That wall starts. Yeah. That sounds good. It's looking so great. It's a nine hole putt putt golf course here. And we'll figure something else out for that wall. Right. We need a, a couple of more places to cinder blocks to sit on. I'm just going to show here some of the cacti that uh, neighbors have donated to me. Some of the shell work. Also, here and we have one hole there in our nine hole and our cinder block two-faced has a two-faced personality and here's the other face here don't want to kick up any dust might get into the paint shells here. Just gorgeous. Bedded. And there's the serpentine here. Getting ready to bring another dimension into the landscaping through color pattern and diligent hard work hand painting, hand designing, everything here. All of these pieces were put together. They're all rocks and leftovers that people dumped in the alley. And I collected them over the years and the artist here made a magnificent sculpture. Garden, Southwest style. All of these beautiful cacti, just just brilliant, with like nothing. A little cement, some terracotta coloring here and there. See the trick is to time it to where there's a bend, where the yellow lands in the cracks. Oh. And the and the and the band is where the main color is. Right. You don't want to put the yellow. You want to try to keep the yellow into the grooves or wherever it's made, where it's assembled. So it looks more, gives it more of a of a lifelike, uh, three dimensional, like continuous swerving. Mm. What do you call it? Coiling. <laughs> yeah. Like a real snake? Like a, like giving it some life. Like bringing it to life in a way. Right. Because right. you have to use every angle you can. Like you, you have to use what you can to make it look life-like. And these colors, they don't have to be perfect. You know what I mean? They don't have to be like every band has to be a foot, a foot, you know, like yeah. some of them can be a little bigger than others. Right. Some of the snakes, you know, they have a little wider pattern in the middle, or they have a, they have a whole bunch of little stuff at the end and by the head. Right. Where there, there's more, there's more uh, shorter stripes. So it's, it doesn't have to be perfect because no one's, no one's measuring this. I mean, right. 
it, it, it's just art. There's no blueprint. Right. There's nothing. There's nothing fancy about. This. I mean, you don't have to be a. You could be a kindergartner and paint this. Right. See that drip? It goes in the dirt. I am so glad that winter's over. Right? It'll dry nice and nice and solid, and then we'll uh, put some kind of a sealer on it. All right, very good. Beautiful. Oh, we're now 